Hello everyone, welcome to Orange Tactical. Today we are going to compare the P365XL from Sig Sauer to the Walther PPS. So this is a Gen 1 PPS. Um, so this has the European style mag release. and You can see the mag here. Um, we'll set that off to the side and then clear the weapon. Um, obviously no mag again, weapon is clear. This is the P365XL by, from Sig. Um, we'll clear out that mag and no rounds in the chamber, so the weapon is clear. So, what is the difference between the PPS and the P365XL? Size-wise, the P365XL is, is 6.6 .6 inches long, and the Walther PPS is 6.32 inches long. Um, that being said, the only length difference that I'm seeing when I'm holding them up to each other is the dovetail beaver tail, um, just that little extension on the back of the XL grip module, um, just to make it a little bit longer in your hand. Um, so if we line, line the slides up, we go slide to slide, they are basically the same length. Um, but if I line up the back of this slide slash grip module to the back of the tail on the end of the XL. Um, you can see that there's a hair of a difference there, um, but not much. It's all in that grip module length there. So as far as holstering it and stuff, there's no length difference in your holster. Um, Width-wise, the P365 XL is one inch, 1.1 inch technically, um, and the PPS is 1.1 as well. Um, and then height-wise, it is a 4.8 inches for the P365XL and 4.9 inches for the PPS. Um, and I don't know on the site I'm reading for the comparison. I'm not sure if they're including the extended mag. And I think they are that the PPS is a hair taller. Um, so if I line those up on the ground or on the table there and then lift them up, trying to keep them lined up. You can see the PPS is just a hair higher. It's kind of hard to see with the optic on the XL. So, this PPS is a um, 40 caliber, and this XL is a 9 millimeter. Um, that being said, the PPS did come in, the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 both have a 9 millimeter option. Um, this is 6 rounds, can be 7, there's a little bit longer mag that's 7, um, and the 9 millimeter variant gets a 8 round extended mag. I think it comes with 7s and you can buy the extended 8. Um, whereas the P365XL is a 12 round 9 millimeter, um, only comes in 9 millimeter, so you've, get the, you've got the 12 round option for the 9 millimeter. Um, well, you can go bigger than 12 rounds if you want to go to the extended modules um, or the extended mags that I've shown in other videos. So that's the big differences between the PPS and the XL. The only other difference is the PPS has a um, Back strap on it, similar to the X Macro. This is much easier to change and is designed to be taken on and off frequently. Um, and in fact, you can see that I have racked the slide. I'll rack it again. Um, so you can see that the load indicator is on. Um, but when I go ahead and take the back strap off, you'll see that that load indicator drops. It is not firing the weapon. It is safely dropping the, the load indicator so you cannot pull the trigger. Um, you can, there's just nothing, you, when you pull it, it does nothing. Um, so you can put this in your pocket or something and set the gun down and just leave it like this even with rounds in it um, and it's not operable. However, I don't like that. Um, I feel like their gun safety of just keep your gun stored safely and everyone know what's going on um, are way more important than trusting the little piece of plastic to pop on and off. Um, but it does have two different sizes if you want a little bit thinner back strap as well. Um, I typically like this one with a little bit bigger back strap. So it's a little bit bigger in the hand compared to the XL. Kind of a little bit more similar to the X Macro, um, even with the medium grip module in the X Macro. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to Orange Tactical and like this video. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day.